Gladly. Welcome back, guys, by the way. Hearing the time. Hearing the time. Alright. <clears throat> okay, Jesus. Okay, so he didn't hear the time, he saw it. Mm -hmm. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? No, hit press, or, or uh, hit the cough, plus button. No, wait. Uh, look at the evidence real quick. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's that one? He didn't know that. Hold on. I'll press it. One more, one more, one more. What? Go to the next one and press that. Great. The murder weapon. Uh -huh. Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. Mm -hmm. And then press left. And present the clock. On this one? Mm hmm. The statue? Yes. Objection! Wait just a moment. Let me do a better objection. Objection! There you go. There you the go. murder weapon wasn't a clock, it was the statue. Oh. Now, how was this supposed to be a clock? What? You, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw It. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch, you just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Said Wright. <laughs> It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet, the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. I'll, I'll do it. Um, indeed. Okay, you got it. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. Oh. You're lying. Oh. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Whoa. The shit's getting deep. <laughs> You struck her with the clock, and the, and the shock of the blow triggered the, the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. <laughs> Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Did I speak up for that voice? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. OBJECTION! Excuse me. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, there's chips. This is not the time to eat chips. Oh, sorry. Thanks, by the way, Judge. Yeah, thanks, Judge. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> 
Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I would, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard no, I mean, saw, saw. Oh, he's bald. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. It, it was him, I tell you. I saw him. He, he killed her. And he should burn. Burn. Give him death. <laughs> Order. Order. <laughs> Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Salt heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is simple, which is clear if you simply uh, try sounding the clock. Uh <laughs> We're doing it. All you have to do is examine the batteries. Indeed. The batteries are in the right way. The clock, clock seems to be working <laughs> fine. <laughs> what exactly did you mean, Mr. Wright? You just ruined the whole mood of the whole like, <laughs> badass fucking... I got you! And just examine the batteries! No! Fucking... Test Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted it. Yes, the clock was working fine. Yes, and? <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry, I think I got confused back there with all the testimonies and such. And I skipped a bop and Mr. Up. I expect more from a liar in this cart. Even if it is your first day, I'm afraid I have to penalize you. Try to think things through more carefully. Oh my carefully. god! There's an explosion in the court! Everybody get down! Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> it's just the fucking beard. Like, one of the potato, the potato chip bag just pops and they all fly out. <laughs> yes, yes, your honor, as I was saying. The whole case is writing on this. I better think this through carefully. Yes, your honor. The sound Mr. Saw heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you Examine simply... the clock's batteries! <laughs> <laughs> Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? May I have the cock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. As I Cole wipes his nose. Beep. Beep. Bebe. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Eck! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the dis discrepancy. Discrepancy, Nick. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Between what Mr. Saw heard and the actual time of death. So, Miss. Oh, so, Mr. Saw <laughs> Sorry, I got confused. Pay again. attention, Nick. <laughs> Try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. <laughs> you don't have what it takes to kill me. <laughs> Wait, mate. While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it wasn't running three hours slow on the day of the... How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? You can't prove that. 
You don't have a case. <laughs> He's right. How am I supposed to, how am I gonna prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Wright. It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Indict. I meant indict. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime! I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Ah, it's okay, Nick. There's nothing I can do about it now. Yeah. Help me break out of prison. Make it like Shawshank Redemption. And... Next time. But, 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 but. Next time. Harry Butts.